Haley attacks Biden. Trump and China in New Hampshire Town Hall Former United Nations Ambassador and GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley called for new leadership rebuking Donald Trump and Joe Biden during her USA Today New Hampshire Town Hall Thursday. Time equals 400 ms. greater than. We all need to acknowledge that it is time for a new generation of leader, Haley said in response to a question about comments made by Donald Trump about Israel Wednesday night. We have to leave the negativity, the chaos and the baggage of the past. Haley spoke to voters at a full Exeter town hall in Exeter, New Hampshire, where in her opening remarks she called out Republican earmarks in the CARES Act and pointed to the fentanyl crisis tying it to China saying, don't think for a second China doesn't know what they are doing when they send it, fentanyl, over. Haley promised that if elected she would take a hard-line position on immigration, stating her administration would have a policy of, catch and deport, and said, we will defund sanctuary cities once and for all. In her opening remarks, Haley criticized Biden and questioned his fitness for duty saying, we need people who are at the top of their game. Haley also called for Members of Congress to lose pay if a budget is not produced on time, tax cuts for small businesses and took a hard-line position on school choice and parents' rights. Haley also supported an Israeli offensive against Hamas in Gaza saying, while we have their back now that they've been hit, what's more important is that we have their back when they hit back, Haley A called Iran, dot the backer of Hamas. Haley became South Carolina's first female and Asian American governor when she was elected in 2010. She won re-election in 2014. Before that she spent six years in the South Carolina legislature. In 2017, Haley served as Trump's UN ambassador. In 2018 she unexpectedly stepped down. Haley is a pro-life Republican and a supporter of Israel. She supports cracking down on illegal immigration. Haley did not support legislation in South Carolina that would have required transgender people to use bathrooms that correspond to their gender assigned at birth. Time equals 400 ms. greater than while Haley has supported Trump in the past, she has also criticized Trump, including after the January 6, 2021 Capitol insurrection. Haley once said she would not support Trump's ban on Muslim immigration. Yet she supported Trump when he blocked people from six Muslim-majority countries from entering the U.S. It's not a Muslim ban, Haley said at the time. During her tenure at the United Nations, Haley announced sanctions against Russia, a move that rankled White House aides. National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow suggested Haley had momentary confusion over the Trump administration's actions. With all due respect, I don't get confused. Haley replied. In June 2018 Haley announced the U.S. was pulling out of the U.N. Human Rights Council. I want to make it crystal clear that this step is not a retreat from our human rights commitments, Haley said. One of Haley's most notable acts as governor came in. 2015 when Haley signed a bill ordering the removal of the Confederate flag from statehouse grounds following the killing of nine black worshippers at the Emanuel Aim Church by a white supremacist. The Confederate flag has long been considered a sign of slavery. It's time to move the flag. From the Capitol grounds, Haley said during a June 22 news conference. Another act that Haley made with long-term implications. She appointed Tim Scott to replace retiring Senator Jim Damiend in 2012. In 2016, she gave the Republican response to former President Barack Obama's State of the Union. One topic she made sure to discuss. Immigration. We must fix our broken immigration system. That means stopping illegal immigration, said Haley. And it means welcoming properly vetted legal immigrants, regardless of their race or religion. Just like we have for centuries. Time equals 400 ms. greater than that same year. Time named her one of the 100 most influential people. Fellow SC Republican Senator Lindsey Graham wrote a description on Haley for the magazine. Haley has made a surge in the polls with strong debate performances. Poll aggregators 538 and Real Clear Politics have behind former President Donald Trump in fourth and third respectively. Real Clear Politics has Haley in second in New Hampshire averaging 14.2 percent. Haley reached 16 percent in a New Hampshire poll by USA Today, Boston Globe, Suffolk University.